a new day, a new project. I just got this from Poland, a bright new top and bottom case, bright new for my old Acer V3331. So this was my so-called traveler laptop since 2015. <laughs> But of course, the traveling years, ups and downs, you know, took the toll and it's almost cracking into, you see here again, you can feel the, the bending part. Instead of throwing away a really nice laptop because it's still running nice. It's an Intel Pentium uh, 3556U, 1.7 uh, gigahertz dual core and it's light. It have a bright new battery and I was thinking to myself for 30 euros, that's how much I paid for these parts. I'm gonna give a new life and a new purpose to this laptop. You can see <laughs> it's hot glued all around. Dismantle this, take the parts inside and move it into the new case. I'm gonna start having soldering iron. It's like eight watts or something. And I'm using this only for working with hot glue. It's USB, not powerful, but good enough for melting hot glue. So for the beginning, I, I have to take the bottom out somehow without destroying the board. I have a a couple of screws, still alive, three of them. Now I'll try to open the bottom. Where should I start? Okay, let's go this corner. <laughs> you see, it's already bending. Okay, there we go. A little bit more here. There we are. And I have also to fix the power plug, the power supply input. This one was glued here. We're gonna fix that nice. So that's the bottom out. Let me show you. Look there, it's cracking, it's bending and it's kaput. Let me have the battery out keyboard the keyboard connector it's kind of loosey but it will be okay the fan is clean i don't need to open this one i think i have like eight uh, giga of ram like i said new battery you know it's working very nice on batteries maybe it's like five six hours you know for small jobs you know, like surfing and browsing and stuff like that and the battery is out all the parts are going to the top. You know something, I never did anything like this before. It's always a beginning for something. Maybe I should disconnect the screen. The hinges are perfect. Maybe I should take out the hard disk. Oh yeah, we have a screw over here. dryer hard drive it's out and this is a 500 giga these are the Wi-Fi antennas okay let me start with this little board here or maybe I should start with pad it's a really mess even the pad out okay so the screen is out let me take it away It's nice to have these nuts a little bit loose, so uh, the movement here it's much uh, easier. I have to take this out. That's the, the mouse pad, and of course, this one was broke too. And the pad should go out. This is out, we can put it already into the other board. You know, this particular model have a problem with the pad. Sometimes the mouse, you know, the, the arrow is getting stuck. So I found out having a, a better ground 
it's helping. What else? Of course, loudspeakers. And by the way, it's a pretty good sound for these small loudspeakers. Okay. I need to find one of these screws. I don't have it, but I'll found it. Okay, let's go further. This little board is a problem. Wi-Fi antennas. This is gone. Nothing special here. Double blue. And I should have the main board to the new case. Screw there. Here. I can't believe it. That's all. It's looking like. Easy job. Okay, the Wi-Fi reception is not so good because the antennas are around all these metal parts here. But it's fair enough for for inside the house. If you have strong routers, shouldn't be a problem. It's pretty okay. Okay, so the keyboard is coming like this. Then that's kind of strange, and I'm afraid. Everything's okay here. We are good. The keyboard, the Wi-Fi antenna. Yeah, everything is back in place. We are good. Of course, I need some more screws soon because everything is upside down. The power connector is kind of creepy. Yeah, I need to find some, some new one. But uh, until then, we got all these things together. It's looking good. That's the power button. Let me have the screen on, battery. I don't like this, but that's the only way we can fix it. I think that it was like that before. Battery, it's on. A few screws here. And of course, let's have the screen. Very nice, it's bright new. Okay, this is interesting. So I think we have to fix the screen first and then to have this back. No. And now this, this screw is fixing screen also. That's nice. Okay. Nice. Just a little bit of cleaning here. The screen connector. Then place. And we have to find some more screws. It was hot glued all around. We are good to go. Let's see if this little one is still alive. The battery is on. The display is on. Yes, of course, everything is fine. Well, the job is almost done. I have to find another power plug here. And uh, it's good to go. The keyboard, is it working? No. The keyboard, it's not working. Surprise. To get this keyboard out, it's a mess. Everything is plastic, you know, it's have these plastic rivets. So that, that's a really problem. <laughs> no. So this one have to go like this. Oh yes, of course it's not working because I did it in the wrong way 
this is good but here we are not good so now it should work for sure a little bit of tape will solve the problem right here yeah we're good to go let's see so i have a last thing to do to find another plug for the power something to fit inside here you see we have this uh, this that's not the original the originals got broke i have to look in between my stuffs you know for a, a better plug something to fit inside here you can see it's looking really nice a new life for pretty old laptop yeah the keyboard it's working beautiful <laughs> i still have the name there road oh yes everything is fine perfect but yeah volume up do we have any sound let's see the fan it's working i can hear it spinning nice perfect by the way this is my channel please like and subscribe and i hope uh, this was nice anyway it's, it was a lot of fun for me i have to find another plug and i'll be back at the end of things just got this uh, plug and this will do the job for now all i have to do is to find a way to fit in here that's the place right here so it's looking like i have to use the file and to have a little out of this plastic in the bottom so the charging port is in place right here and it fits very very well it have to be flexible to have enough room for let the things you know playing a little bit uh, let me check for short this is ground and we are good to go that's absolutely nice now let's see how the button it fits here yep let me see the charging port okay almost perfect factory like factory but i have to just to go a little bit in there and make just a little bit of room okay so you don't even notice that let's see so i think that's the the final let me let me try to have it back in place well it fits perfect <laughs> and you know something I, I like this combination with black and white by the way it's looking interesting and there we go I have a single test to do let's see if the uh, power supply it's okay and uh, is charging properly Where are you? there we go we have the power supply and the charging orange light and that's really really nice okay so i think that's it for today a new life to I don't want to call it old but it's pretty uh, you know pretty adult <laughs> 2015 it's like six years old still running great still looking good and the new case it's steady it's firm and this can be used for another years okay we have a little dent like this but now it's okay yes beautiful uh, i hope it's useful thank you for watching this and uh, if you like uh, please subscribe 
let me hear your comments it will be interesting to have your ideas and uh, see you soon with some other projects be safe have fun and bye bye <laughs>